Hi, I'm Ryan Blanning, and this is Visiting Mr. Green. How can I put this? Uh, the way you felt when you made love with a woman, uh, with your wife, I mean, uh, that's how I felt when I made love with a man. Why can't we talk about this? We're both men, we're both adults. Why does it have to be such a big deal? You know, I'm sick of it being such a big deal. You know, I don't get it, I really don't get it. You know, one minute I'm the perfect son. They love me, they're crazy about me, they can't stop bragging to their friends about me. And the next minute, you know, literally the next minute, they act as if I murdered someone. You know, this was years ago and we still haven't talked about it. You know, it wasn't like I was lying to them my whole life. You know, I thought I was straight too. Well, then I thought about it, but then I met some gay guys at Harvard and really we couldn't have been any more different. So I'm not gay. Good. You know, now I can focus on winning tennis matches and getting straight A's and, you know, so I graduate from college and I get a good job in New York and I move back in with my parents temporarily. And I go to this party one night and I meet this guy named Paul. You know, smart, funny, lives nearby. We become friends. And after about a month or so, he tells me that he's gay. You know, fine, he's gay. I'm not. No big deal. And then another month goes by and now he's telling me he's falling in love with me. So Paul's in love with me. And I assume we're probably going to have to stop being friends. A couple of days go by and I'm mowing the lawn at my parents' house and all of a sudden, uh, I don't know, this wave of feelings come over me. I miss him. I really miss him. We were in love. We we're the happiest 22 year olds in the metropolitan area. Any fear I had about being gay was gone. It was like for the first time in my life I could relax.